Today we're looking at anaerobic of fer fermentation of yeast, by yeast. So, um, what are we going to use as a food for the yeast, Dylan? Glucose, which is a type of sugar. Very good. Okay. And we have uh, weighed out how much sugar, Jamie? 45 grams. Very good. And what volume of water are we going to make it up to? 250 ml. Excellent. Well done, Jamie. So, Benedict, you're going to add the 250 ml of water into that there, please. Okay. So, we have our yeast and we have our flask ready for our yeast and we have our flask ready for our control. Very good. Thanks, Benedict. So now you're going to add that 10% weight per volume sugar solution into the conical flask. Very good. Lovely. Very good. And how many grams of yeast are we going to add, Chloe? Five grams of yeast. Very good. Excellent. Right. Now, we want to have anaerobic conditions. So, Ryan, how are we going to achieve anaerobic conditions? Uh, you build the fermentation block half full of water. Excellent. Good man. Very good. So, that's going to allow CO2 out, but prevent any oxygen from getting in. And Benedict is just half filling the fermentation lock with water so that we will have anaerobic conditions here. So that's great. Well done. Thanks, Benedict. Lovely. Now, we have to set up our control as well. So, Benedict, what do you want to add into the control? Uh, glucose solution. Very good, with no yeast. So that's the difference. So this one is just the sugar solution and no yeast. But everything else has to be kept identical. Okay, so we have to... Uh, half fill our second fermentation lock with water. Okay. Now, once we have these set up, we're going to put them into an incubator. And Kaylin, what temperature are we going to have the incubator at? It's uh, 30 degrees. Excellent, 30 degrees Celsius. That's great. Lovely. So we'll see that now. We're going to put the two conical flasks into our incubator here. Very good. Lovely. That's great. Now, we can see the ones that we've put in earlier on as well. We might have a little look at some of those. That's our control. Very good. And that's our experiment one. Okay. And some of the ones that we have in here earlier on, we can see bubbles of carbon dioxide forming here already. And we can see it beginning to bubble here. I'm not sure. There we are. Okay, so on um, we leave this over the weekend for the ethanol to form. Ethanol and CO2 is going to form. And next week we're going to test for the ethanol using sodium um, hypochlorite and potassium iodide. And uh, Dara, what colour, what will be observed if there is alcohol present, if ethanol is formed? Excellent. So if we get yellow crystals, we can confirm that ethanol has been produced by anaerobic respiration of sugar by yeast. And that concludes our experiment for today.